It's a giant Easter egg with a shell made up of chocolate and pieces of cashews. It is further stuffed with Serenata de Amor bonbons inside the shell. Candy's covered in chocolate And it's composed of chocolate with cashew nut filling So, chocolate and cashews Cool I appreciate that there's two of them I think that's very cool Because they're small Alright What is this? Baton Branco There's no English on this whatsoever white chocolate stick in the cylindrical form of a baton. Baton is the best-selling chocolate for children in Brazil, and in the year 2012, it was consumed by more than 17 million Brazilians. So it's a white chocolate stick. Lucky for me, I love white chocolate. I wonder if it's hollow. I'm gonna find out. Temple chocolate cookies, I guess. I know it's hard to see with the light. There you go. That looks better. And let's see. They are cookies with a milk chocolate filling. Each cookie is engraved with the photo of an animal mascot. They're an extremely popular line of cookies in Brazil, especially amongst children. I'm sensing a theme. It's meant for children. I'm gonna love this. Okay. And this looks interesting. Something about bananas. I don't know. This is what it looks like. Okay. Very simple packaging. Brazil produces 10% of the world's bananas. It is made with all natural ingredients, contains no preservatives, and is safe for vegans to eat. So it's a banana candy bar. That kind of makes me nervous because other than actual bananas, I'm not a huge fan of banana flavored things. But who knows? Could be good. And these just Salt and water biscuits have been around since 1885, and through more than a century of experimentation, water and salt biscuits are creamier and crunchier than ever. Okay. And then there's a picture of someone putting butter on them. I used to do that with crackers when I was younger. And then there's one more thing. It's another chip.
this is the fun part. So I'm gonna start with the Choquito chocolate bar. This is the one with the Rice crispy pieces. And I've already cut everything open so I don't have to make a huge commotion. So this is exactly what I thought it was gonna look like. Um, you can see the bits of Rice crispy. the caramel. Kind of not. You know how like a fireplace smells after a while when the wood's been burning? That's what the taste turned into. I know that sounds weird, but it tasted like firewood towards the end. But it's good. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's okay. consistency is the cream in an Oreo 
mostly like taste the cracker on the outside. Those are good. I see why kids like those. They're simple to the point. They're good. And now we can do the white chocolate baton. And from what I can see, it's just a completely solid stick of white chocolate. This is like kettle corn, right? Oh, no. Maybe not. I'm gonna have to turn it over a little bit so I can pour some into my hand. Show you what it looks like. There are these little... I don't even know. Let me show you. It's like not what popcorn usually looks like. like a marshmallow too. That's definitely not what I'm used to when I think of popcorn, but it's not bad. I just want to know if it's supposed to be that like hard and, and chewy, but it's not bad. Okay, definitely interesting. And we have one more now. And last but not least, we'll do the bonbon, which is chocolate and shoes. So let's take that out. From the outside, you can't see any cashews. 
Easter egg. That is everything. Um, the Easter egg is just going to be your average chocolate shell, and I think it's cashews in it too. Um, but yeah, so overall, everything was really good. This stuff was a lot different from the last two uh, snack unboxings that I did. I really like it. I think my favorites were the white chocolate stick. the